Independent Living Counselor Bob Zimmerman demonstrates problems that can occur. Inadequate landing size makes turns difficult or impossible. Smooth transition to ground level is critical. Plywood easily deteriorates under outdoor use. It can also be very slippery, especially when wet or frosty. This ramp surface had to be replaced in less than two years. Carpeting can make a ramp slippery. It can also create a tripping hazard. Um, my first impression of this ramp is uh, it's terrible. Uh, it's not a ramp that would be good for me. I could tip over and I don't have the strength in my shoulders anymore to control myself going up the ramp. Appropriate slope for the person using the ramp is critical for safety and ease of use. To achieve the recommended minimum 1 to 12 slope, which is 12 inches of ramp for each inch of drop, this ramp would need to be 18 feet longer. This is a very steep ramp with a 1 to 7 slope. The person who uses this ramp always has help available. She has allowed us to use her ramp to demonstrate why proper slope is needed for independence. I can't hold her standing straight up. I can't push her forward. I have to lean into it like this to do this. That's too steep a ramp. This ramp is much too steep for me to go up by myself. It's too steep. Uh, the front tires kept coming up and my own balance is off with it and felt like I was ready to tip over. The chair has enough power to pull up it, but it wants to kick back. Uh, do wheelies uh, coming up this ramp and that's not safe. I'd never make this if it were wet or had a little snow on it. Okay. And as you can see now, I'm sitting with my brake set and I'm still wanting to roll downhill. Um, going down this ramp for me is very risky. Um, I need to hang on for dear life here. I'll lose my balance and fall forward. And there would be no way that I could carry anything down the ramp sitting on my lap because it, it just wouldn't stay. Winter time in a ramp like this would be impossible. Um, any kind of moisture or snow or um, anything like that would not allow me to make it up this ramp. It's just far too steep. It was very steep. It was hard to maneuver the crutches. I was putting all my weight on my arms and I didn't feel real stable. With uh, crutches on ice or if there was bad weather, crutches would easily slip. There's also not, on my ramp I have some type of ridges that allows for traction, and on this ramp there isn't any ridges for the traction. Yeah, well. so I'm going to be going really fast. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. 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 We are using a net ramp to demonstrate movement on a much more gradual 1 to 16 slope. The slope of the ramp uh, was made this way to give me the least amount of resistance in my knees. It's, we did try different slopes and this one worked out the best. But with the ramp in place, I've been able to get out a lot more often and a lot less pain and a lot more safety. I used to be able to just use a chair. Now I have to use a, an Amigo because my arms are wearing out. On bad days, I use my Amigo. This is an excellent ramp um, for use because of the, the slope in it uh, and the bad shoulders that I have, especially for using my wheelchair. Uh, do you feel safe on this ramp? Excellent, I feel very safe on it. A ramp with a proper slope is important for me because it uh, makes it a lot easier for me to hold my balance going down the ramp, I can carry stuff on my lap going up and down and not need to worry about losing my balance. As we have just seen and heard, people with mobility impairments require access solutions designed to meet their needs and complement their abilities. When I walk, it would be great if it could be even longer, a more gentle slope because it is harder to walk 
on a slope than it is to wheel.